okay how do they feel about the last thing you said or post it on social media or on the internet okay so this this could be something that you just said online so in a whatsapp chat uh, chat or whatever okay so let's um what is this uh, the hierophant in reverse so if this person um thought you thought they were marriage material now they think you don't think they're marriage material anymore or they um feel like you're a lot more unconventional than they thought um what is this the magician they think you're just going to um move elsewhere to find your forever forever home forever person forever friendships um and they're kind of paranoid they're kind of paranoid but they know you're on moving on to a new beginning Ooh, and that is the truth because if you follow um mommy water on on um this is the eight of cups so we start we started off with the eight of cups the fool yeah they yeah you're moving on from something that that left um made you feel like you would be controlled i'm sorry for the construction noise okay my next door neighbor is renovating and i'm i'm i i I just don't want to be mad at the noise because obviously construction workers need to work to provide for their families um so I'm, i'm not going to be mad at that i i I don't know why people get so mad at the noise when it's just people working it's people uh, making a living okay so i'm i'm sorry for that but kind of not sorry as well and you could be feeling that way you're sorry but you're not sorry because this is something that moving on from this person was something that you felt was necessary so that could be a thing so that's how they feel they basically feel like they feel like um they 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 really want to know what your next step is is what i'm getting um they they really really want to know what your next step is um they they need certainty but i don't feel like they're getting any certainty and that is kind of freaking them out okay so if you picked pal 2 how does your person feel about the last thing you said or did or posted on social media or um, said to them online? Bloom. Seeking knowledge. Repose. Okay, so you could have said goodbye to somebody or you could have made a little announcement. Oh, I'm going to do this project. I'm going to do that project. Um, they feel like you've wisened up. I don't know what you posted, but yeah, they, 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 they see you moving on. But this is somebody who would be happy for you if you moved on. Okay, so this isn't somebody who looks at you all jealous and think, oh, she's moving on from me or he's moving on from me. If they, if I can't have them, nobody can. This isn't somebody like that. I'm actually seeing kind of like an older sibling. I know I'm getting an older sibling with this person. An older sibling or somebody who you consider a mentor they're kind of they're, they're actually quite proud of your um your progress i think they see that you've kind of matured let me see looking ahead they see you looking ahead into your future and they actually see you winning okay if and they want to protect you okay so um if you're asking about somebody who is intuitive this person already knows that you're going to succeed in your future and they're very proud of you because i feel like this person yeah you had to make a decision and they feel like you made the right decision because i feel like this person has watched you for a long time this could be literally what i'm getting is somebody is asking about how um Let's say you you have a tarot reader that you have came to for a very, very long time since you were very, very young. And this person actually has watched you kind of grow up, which is weird to say. But if you have a tarot reader that you really click with, this person could have seen you kind of grow and take the advice. And they see positive results from you taking the advice. Yes, tenacity. So this is somebody who is uh who's known you for quite a while and they're quite proud of you. See, they they think about you a lot actually and they have a lot of confidence in you and they're also proud that you have grown a lot of confidence yourself. Um solitude, um they kind of worried what will happen if um they're no longer around or they quit doing tarot readings or they quit being a therapist or um they pass on they're kind of worried about that who are you going to ask for um authentic advice because they i feel like this person knows that you are surrounded by a lot of inauthentic people and they're kind of concerned that um 
at some point um, somebody is going to take advantage of you or give you misleading advice because um, they, and they they're, they're not thinking about this in a in an arrogant way but they know they are the, they are key to your growth and they're very proud of you, um, but they're worried that people will take advantage of you. Okay, if you pick pile number three, I feel like this person has hostile feelings toward you. So let's see what's that about. Okay, you thwarted somebody's plan. You thwarted somebody's plan toward happiness that they were um, scheming from the shadows and now they can't defend themselves because you came in really fast. Okay, this is this is funny, but I feel like this is how you this is this is a mentor to you. If you pick pal number two, you are asking about a mentor or a terror reader. If you pick pal number three, you yourself are a terror reader. And I think that um this person um this person sees you as somebody who's really strong. Okay, let me just um reshuffle this. I don't know why I'm doing it this way, just I don't know why I'm doing it this way. <laughs> but I felt called to do it this way. Yeah you are getting increasingly happy and they're just watching you from the outside because you know what the, the thing with this deck is and i use this deck a lot but every time i pull this 10 of um cups i really get a queasy feeling of of somebody who just um i don't know this 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 10 of cups is just really weird to me because um it's like you're happy but other people are unhappy or um, this could be because, like I said, you did something to this person that thwarted their pursuit for happiness. But then the way they tried to pursue it wasn't right anyway, and you stopped that. And now this person is super. See, if this person has authority, they they totally plan on um, using their authority to against you in a bad way. Um, they could be planning to abuse authority. Oh. <coughs> my throat mm. something just attacked my throat chakra i wasn't supposed to say that they don't want me to say that um yeah because they want to release the burden that is you they're very stubborn and delusional and yeah they're very unhappy about a new beginning that you had and they wish you would just go away they're stalking you like mad they're imbalanced um they wanted to steal something from you or they feel like you were trying to steal something from them but it was always it was never theirs it, i'm okay i'm getting an audience they feel like you stole their audience they feel like you stole their friends they feel like they stole um their ex even and the ex isn't even with them anymore this audience is the public and the public can decide who they want to watch or listen to or read and this person isn't having it they're really jealous and mad and they okay i keep getting this in the reverse as somebody unfollowing somebody and don't worry though if this person does abuse their authority they're going to get the karma okay so don't worry about that um so i hope this helped um i don't know i don't i don't want to end this um oh i don't i i was just going to say i don't want to end this reading on on this two of cups in the reverse note and this came out so that's positive so thank goodness you're going to end up as the king of coins or if or you will end up um dating a king of coins archetype and they will be a very reliable and stable person okay so i hope that helped um bye